So here's a finished case. This is a published case. This is a 38 year old adult uh, male diagnosed with sleep apnea. We can see his top jaw where teeth were taken out when he was a teenager. And in about 10 months, we were able to recapture some of that bone volume. We increased the bone width to about 39 millimeters, used to be 34. So that bone is regrowing, it's redeveloping. Here he is before he started treatment, and here he is at the end. The spaces between the teeth have been covered with veneers. And if we look at his airway before treatment, it's a 3D scan, he's a comb beam uh, 3D CAT scan. And what we see is that the airway before treatment is starting to prove, improve after about 15 months. Here's the same patient. We reconstructed his airway in 3D. We can see it got a lot bigger. Looking from the front, we can see that the airway was constricted and narrow. And then after treatment, it's, been, it's broader, it's wider. And if we do a sleep test on this patient, before treatment, he had moderate sleep apnea. He had 24 events each hour. Then after treatment, about 10 months later, it's less than five, it's about three, and that means that he no longer has sleep apnea. And we know this because we can reconstruct the airway in 3D, we can measure the bone volume, the airway volume, and what we find in these patients is the airway volume increases, and as the airway volume increases, that allows the sleep apnea to decrease, and in most cases it actually goes away, and that change is uh, measured without wearing the appliance at the end of treatment. So it's kind of interesting that um, we start wearing the appliance, we get the development to proceed, and by the end of treatment we can want to get to the stage ideally where you no longer need to wear the appliance. Now, we still recommend wearing the appliance because we know that people undergo aging as they get older, and so you can wear the device as an anti-aging, with an anti-aging effect over a longer period of time. So that's the same patient, and his teeth have been uh, crowned, or veneers have been uh, added at the end to cover up the spaces. But you know, he doesn't look too bad. Look at his head posture, you see his head is kind of tilted backwards here, and it's straightening up, his facial features have improved, and here's a healthier and happier guy. And this is what we mean by enhanced craniofacial homeostasis.